welcome back to the INS Way with me, Sal, and Ant. <laughs> uh, this is our second video of the day. Selena thought we would give you a tour of the newest part of West Summerlin. And it's the part that's most under development. Hopefully you can hear us over the wind because we've mentioned many times, people don't tell you about the wind in Vegas. It yes. is extreme. <laughs> and when you do mention it, like, oh, it only lasts a couple of weeks. It doesn't, no, it lasts months. It's always very, windy very here. Windy. So this is part of West Summerlin. And we thought we would show you the different sections because in a, I think about a month ago, we released a video of us cycling through one of my favourite parts of West Summerlin, where we live in the vistas. We showed you Paseo, Stonebridge and how that setup is. And that particular area has been around for, is it 30 years maybe? Yeah, I think it's been under development for about 30 years. Uh, exactly. So and we love that area. But as you, you guys that have been following our channel would know, we've purchased a property and it's on this side of West Summerlin, which is completely under development at the moment and it goes all the way up to here so this is the very top of where we have purchased and this is as close as you can get to the mountains here yeah it would be really nice to there are some so as you run along this way that are actually closer in a park called Stonebridge but that's pretty much complete there's the last lots of houses being sold so then this is the next one along to it which is called Red Point I think Red Point Village yeah Red Point Village so what they're doing they're building another town and if you watch out the video that will come out just before this we show you some of West Charleston and what that looks like it's going to be similar so it's going to have a village which will have shops gyms restaurants cinema <laughs> the wind yes <laughs> uh, as well as homes and they're building I have no idea how many but a lot of homes in different groups and this whole area much like on the other side has all the ma major home builders from Toll Brothers Woodside Pulte Tripoint and we're just going to pick a few just to show you um, what the developments look like now and give you an idea. One of the really nice things here, and I'm sure it's the same in the other areas, is they've chosen to get the developers to develop different styles of homes. So you've got traditional single story homes, slightly less traditional dual story or two story homes, and then you've got three story homes and some that look really weird, which are really narrow and they're effectively apartments that are built as homes because they're two bed in some cases yes, yeah. but they're over three or four stories and they're really interesting i actually really like them wouldn't be perfect for us but they're still really nice in design all right so we're going to pull up to one of the bigger home builders here or larger home builders it's called pulte homes i'm going to show you how they set these up so as you pull in you'll see there's a massive sign that says carmel cliff each estate has its own name which is really nice now you'll see these homes are absolutely massive as we pull up to the show homes and we'll give you a view of some of the amazing views that you'll get. You'll have heard in some of our videos where we say we're not paying that lot premium. We'll get it on this way around. We're not paying for that lot premium. You'll see why some of these lot premiums are so high. So up here I know that I don't know, I think they're between two and three hundred thousand for some of the really nice lots. When we started looking for our home, I had looked into Pulte and I knew that I really liked it. It was one of my favourite. This and Tripoint, and we'll go to Tripoint later. Um, but unfortunately, the prices were just too high. For us. Yeah, so to give you an idea, the ones that we were looking at that would have been suitable in a way, you can would have been around uh, 1.2, 1.3 million, maybe a bit more. Once you factor in the lot premium, it could be up in the one and a half million range. So for us, that's just not, it's not doable right now. Up here, you are looking in excess of a million dollars, which for us, as we mentioned with the home that we, we've ended up buying from Woodside, we don't know how long we're going to be here. So for us, the timing just wasn't right in going for such a big purchase now. But let's show you some of the reason why you might have to pay 300,000. If you remember, if any of you, ha if you haven't already, we have another video where we cycle through West Summerlin and show the Paseos and Stonebridge. And our favourite place there was Stonebridge because it was up so high and you're as close as you can get to Red Rock Mountain. 
but this and it obviously commands a much higher price this is the same here the higher you go up the better the views you get over las vegas city and you can see incredible views of the strip but you also get backdrop of so i'm not sure how well it'll come up and i'm not sure if i can zoom in that far but you can see the entirety of both strips so new las vegas end to end so is that mandalay bay what's the one all the way out on the mandalay right bay. all the way to which is the tower stratosphere. stratosphere so that's the entirety of the las vegas strip and then to the left you've got the convention center and all of the other stuff including downtown yeah downtown so especially if you buy a, a plot here which you can see there's three or four homes there. There's a few that are gonna be built here. All of these ones here have a perfect view of the strip. And one of the things in Summerlin, they never guarantee your views, but here you can pretty much guarantee you're gonna get the view because they've got the view fencing and there's nothing that can be built higher because they are at the highest elevation. Just pointing out some of the houses, this here is absolutely massive. It's well over 3,200 square foot and it will probably be around one and a half, 1.6 million. These ones are slightly smaller and believe it or not for English people, it's hard to get your head around because they're single story and they look like they're smaller than these. Often they're not, they're often still around 27 to 3,000 square big, foot. Yeah. They've all got triple garages. So you can see their double garage, and then the garage on the side, same here, one there and on the side. But the main thing to note here is you're paying for these views. Next up, we are going to our one of our favorite builders or our favorite builder, TriPoint. I think they're actually next along on this upper stretch and they've only just opened up their show homes very, very recently. I think there's two here, isn't there? There's is it the King's Landing and the Overlook? King's Canyon. King's Canyon. King's, King's Landing. Landing. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been that would have been way better if they called it King's Landing. Here's a really good example. Now, this is a single story home and I'll get square onto it. So look, single story home does look quite big. The thing that you have to keep in mind is because there's no scale of reference compared to a UK home, compared to its siblings and its neighbours, it looks fine. It looks like it's in the right scale. This is 3,200 square foot of home. And we've just put out a video for the apartment tour of when we were in the UK, and that was 810 square feet. So this is 3,000 on a single story. And the other thing, because I would point out here, it, the size, the views, but also the premiums you're paying for the actual lot. So down where we purchased, our lot premium was $40,000 or 30, 30, 000, 35, 000. something like that. These, we were talking about this yesterday, are probably going to be in excess of 100, 200, maybe 300,000. Uh, these ones over 200. Okay, so just to give you an idea, if you are paying for those views, and as Anne said, he would not be paying for these no. views. However, if you come this way, if you get one of the same homes on the inside, you'll probably half or pay one third because you don't have those same views. It varies depending on the quality of your view. When we're discussing it with locals here, everyone's talking about the Californians that are coming in and I've spoken to quite a few now and when you think about the money that they have and the size of homes that they've been used to in California one they're getting much larger homes and they can get an amazing view which they haven't been used to so they definitely are coming in with the money and are willing to pay those premiums. And look here again this is another single story gives a better idea of the scale because it's a bit more open um, but again, 3,000 square feet. We haven't actually been into these ones yet. No, and we do plan on doing some more home tours of the builders, but we'll keep that separate for another video. Look at this, this one's real nice. Yeah, I think for me, I would have loved living here. And if I knew for sure that we were going to stay here for a long time, I, I think the investment would have been worth it. It's a home that you're staying here for 10 years, 
definitely worth it to have the area of your life, the views. Uh, yeah, I absolutely love TriPoint. I think I would have leant towards TriPoint over Pulte personally, and I think and you. Yeah, I would. Do. So this is a this is part of the Kings Canyon uh, collection, which is on the same site. These are two-story homes. And again, absolutely massive. So I think the two story, yes, 3,600 square foot, or 3,700 square foot. It's a very, very nice home, but way too much for us. So the one that we did look at, not physically, but we had a look online, was actually a single story here because it was the only one that met our requirements. Yeah, otherwise it would have just been um, too big. That's the problem, the homes we like, they're just too big for us and where we really only do need two and a half thousand square feet yeah maximum, maximum. and it, then that's the problem this is the other one and this has got an absolutely huge backyard that runs around the side and all the way around the back this is something actually to note here um when you go to other places in the us the amount that you get for your backyard garden as we would call in the uk is a lot bigger here in vegas you especially in west summerlin you're not going to get those large backyards instead you're paying for views uh, the area um, they're, they're just not that big are they? no they're, not, they're really not that big here and in fact i would say they're not much bigger if at all than what we have at home yeah. where the house would be one third literally one third the size 1200 square foot Absolutely. and the garden would be about the same size I guess people use the outdoors more here. Yeah, and I was talking to my family about how I see people living in West Summerlin and I see lots of children out playing in the street and I realise it's because they don't really have the backyard space, so they play out and oh, maybe it's more community feel, you see the children just playing out with each other and it's better to be outside, um, but it is different. So we'll, the only other one we'll show you here, just to show you it, is the single story that we would have gone for and that's coming up just here and it's still 2400 square foot so again for reference the apartment that we put up the video two videos before this 800 square foot our largest home that we've owned in the uk 1400 square foot across two floors this here is 2400 square feet that doesn't include as i found out the garage space either and i think their garages if it's a a standard double which is pretty much what everybody gets is 500 additional square feet so and people use their garages here this isn't like at home you, they actually use them for parking working out keeping their tools oh look no so even more it's double didn't realize and then there's a single garage here as well would have been the ideal for Anne. yeah it would be and again, you could probably just about see it in the background. That's the strip. So they ha all have really amazing views. And what Celine was pointing out is, if you look, it's wrapped in a mountain range all the way around. Next up on our trip is the cheaper areas. So we're gonna drop right down. So the prices come down as you come down. So your views go and the prices also come to a more reasonable amount and we're going to go head towards uh, the same builder as the builder that's building our home but it's a very different style of home now these are only two beds and i think they range between 1500 and 1900 square feet yeah something like that but they are very very well set up and i really like the way they've gone about designing these we say about the, the cheap homes i actually think the homes down here are overall better value for money um, for me personally how much are they so uh, my memory that's much better than remembering these so they start from is it 485 <laughs> she just made a number up <laughs> so yeah 440,000 for the two beds and then if you want a nice four bed down here you can actually pay well over a million and the place you're going to pay that is toll brothers so they have 2,000 square foot homes which is small here in the seven eight hundred thousands and then they told us the lots that they were offering at that time were 200,000 so you've already got 900,000 
uh, price on it. So you want to go left here. That's 900,000 before you've added in any of their, any of your options. Made it to our third location. So this is Woodside Home. So the same builder that we have purchased our property and it's slightly more west than where we are. And we only came here yesterday and it's a very different style home to what we've purchased. And I really like that. And I think Ant mentioned earlier about with West Summerlin, they're really trying to give a variety of different style homes. So two story, single story, but also these two bed homes detached, very much an apartment style, almost like a town home, but not because it's not a town home with three or four bedrooms. Yeah, and it's also most town homes in the UK are attached, so they're terraced or yeah. semi detached, they're side yeah, by that's side. True. Here they are detached, three stroke, four storey. So I think they are actually three storey homes, but they all have balconies at the top or some of them have two balconies. They then have two parking spaces plus a garage either front or rear. It's a really clever and different design and it allows you to get probably what a couple, young couple needs, um, but at a much better price point. So they're only paying, I think it's between 400 and 500,000 on the price, whereas, as we mentioned, you go further up, you're having to buy a home that's 3,200 square foot and a million plus. So it's half the price, you're a lot further down, but you're still in West Summerlin. Yeah, and I would still say you get really incredible views of the strip here, the mountains too. The one thing I would say is you are more limited on whether or not you're gonna get those views. So here, of course, which you're gonna be paying a lot of money for if you're one of these homes and you can see all of those up there they get this really nice view again strip however the majority of the homes aren't there they're built within this so you're not going to get that and i think you've probably got a better chance of getting a better view up there yeah that and that's why you're paying for it um, yeah the other thing that's a bit unusual so i genuinely liked the style of these homes there was something about it i love the elevation the literal elevation the fact that they had these balconies where you can look at the views out but you do substantially lose out on any backyard space to the point <laughs> where i would say it's pretty much non-existent that's it for this video because we've tried to give you a view of what it looks like what they're trying to do with this area some of the very high price ones the very very high price ones and now one of the cheaper but still high price <laughs> <laughs> no for, yeah, yeah but i mean if somebody it's told me 440,000, it's like 300 and something. That's less than the 800 square foot apartment that we've put up Comparison recently. Comparison to the UK. Yeah, yeah it's very, very cheap. And these homes are really nice. We will do a walkthrough tour, but we'll come back when it's not the weekend because it's easier to got stuff in and, that, and actually, that's a really good point. If you're from, we've got a lot of viewers from the UK look, considering the move to the US and in particular Vegas because we've been showing our lifestyle here. If you come from the south of England, <laughs> you will see a lot of value for money in what you're used to having in the UK compared to here. So you will get a lot more for your pound. So for instance, this one that you can see here, I think is a, would be the equivalent of about £335,000. And the apartment that we just came out of in Airbnb was £335,000. Yeah. So that gives you an idea of the comparison. So I would highly recommend coming out to this area, checking it out. There's so many more home builders here. There's Taylor Morrison, there's Toll Brothers, as we mentioned, lots of development happening. I'm pretty sure you will find a home that suits your taste, whether it's in your budget, I don't know, but we highly recommend it. We love it in Summerlin and we recommend checking it out. Thanks for watching.